Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in. Today's poster wants us to know how to cut out photos from a yearbook to save them individually. Now, in the past, I showed you how to make a yearbook, but today we're going to show you two ways to separate the photos. In the first of two cases, what we're going to do is cut out each photo, but keep it within the same file. So we start with the rectangle marquee over here, and I'm going to cut out the photo, not including the outline so I can create an outline if I want later. To start at the top left, drag the marquee down to the bottom right. This is all with the left mouse button. As soon as I got it where I want, I let go. I'm mean, right in the middle. I'm going to right click and click copy. And that's going to make a new layer up here. If I turn off the back layer, you'll see it's right there. There's your photo. Let's turn that background back on and choose that layer so we can go to the second one. Still with the same marquee, I will start at the upper left come down to the lower right and let go right click and hit copy every time you do that the chosen layer will go to that new layer so this is if I turn off the background this is the second layer this is the first layer now let's go to the third one start at the upper left come down to the bottom right and copy. Now I can turn off the back layer and I've got all these photos here that I can save in a separate file and I can use each one of these photos separately wherever we want. So it's a nice way to keep the photos kind of all arranged to the, where they were before and you can open up a new file and drag them into new files any way you want. Now that's the first way of cutting out photos and being able to save them all in one file. But what if I want each one of these photos to be their own separate file? So once again, this is the second way to save these photos, but instead of all on the same file, I'm going to save each one of these separately. And how do we do that? Let's do it with the cropping tool. I'm going to grab the cropping tool. And once again, like we did before from the upper left to the bottom right, and it's going to crop the whole photo and it'll just leave us just this photo. Hit OK. And there we go. We got one photo. I'm going to go to file, save as on the desktop come down here, choose JPEG, and then I'll rename the photo to photo-1. As soon as I hit save, it'll give me options if I want to save it with the higher resolution or lower resolution. I'll, I'll leave it at the high resolution. I'll hit OK and watch up here on the upper left and it pops in right there. There's our first photo saved. Now we want to go back to the original. I'm going to click in the middle here. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that original cropping. And that brings us back to the original photos. Now I can start with the second one and the crop. Grab the crop, upper left to the bottom right, hit OK, and there's our second photo. Go to File, Save as, JPEG, and we'll call this one Photo-2. Hit Save, hit OK, and watch up here on the upper left, and it pops in the second one right there. And now we got two photos saved. Let's go back to the original by hitting Control-Z to undo that cropping, grab the cropping tool, and go to the third photo. So as you can see, I got a blank page and I got all the 10 photos here. So I can start bringing them in to their separate files. Just like that, you just drag them in like that. And each time you'll see it opens up a new file. They can be used individually or they can be dragged into our project one by one by simply left click and drag it into the project and I'll go to the second one drag that in and go to the third one and so on and so forth so these can be used anywhere we want and as you can see we can introduce each photo separately and that's it for this tutorial this is Rich calling it quits saying over and out